Hey, hello everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's currently about 11.30 p.m. on July 7th, 2018. And since it is 11.30, I'm just getting this one in under the wire, but it's been a kind of busy day, so that's why I'm finally getting to this now. Uh, last night, Murder Dog and I found a new place to crash for the night, since it was a Friday night and we couldn't stay at our normal location. Uh, I actually didn't even realize that until I got to the new location because I was going to test out a new spot last night anyway. And then once I got there, I realized, oh, it's Friday. I had to go somewhere new anyway because, uh, well, the Planet Fitness parking lot is not available on the weekends since they're not open 24 since they're not open 24 hours uh, a, a day during the weekends. So uh, Murder Dog and I found a spot at a local uh, small industrial park kind of thing which I had actually scattered out a few weeks ago and had stopped there for a little while and hung out and actually made some food there, uh, recorded a vlog from there, uh, had a couple of phone conversations there, and I had that place in the back of my mind, and last night I just decided, you know what, we're going to go test that one out anyway because, unfortunately, uh, being at Planet Fitness has been great, but they're doing road construction on the road that's right behind where I usually park, and, of course, around here they do that type of work in the middle of the night now, so it's just been constant jackhammering and uh, the road crews and everything. So it was getting a little crazy around there, so I figured I would try the new spot out, and like I said, it ended up having to try it out last night regardless, but it ended up working really well. Um, it was definitely a lot quieter, and as I had mentioned yesterday, the temperatures had started dropping around here, so it was nice and cool last night. Didn't even have to leave the tailgate open or worry about, you know, parking somewhere where we could leave the tailgate open because it was uh, cool enough that I actually was able to shut most of the windows except for just cracking the front ones a little bit and leaving the vented windows on the suicide doors open. And uh, we were quite comfortable inside, so much so that I was kicking myself in the ass for placing the cotton blanket that I had been carrying with me up in the car carrier the day before because I had been remarking to myself how hot it had been and how ridiculous it was that I was still carrying this blanket with me because I just hadn't been using it. So, of course, as soon as I put it up in the car carrier, I end up needing it. And because I didn't realize that I needed it until about midnight last night, I just did not feel like getting out of the car and putting the car, <laughs> opening up the car carrier. So I used a towel to, to, as a blanket last night. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't sleep very well. I don't necessarily think it was the towel or lack of blanket. Um, and I don't know if it was the lack of noise, but whatever it was, wasn't exactly the greatest sleep, but at least we were left alone, and uh, now we have a new place that we can go to. Probably going to head back there in a little while. Um, so that worked out really well. And then today, uh, Murder Dog and I got up. We kind of our, took our time getting out of that place, watched a very interesting event when we first got out of the vehicle. Um, when I first woke up and started moving around and uh, went to go relieve myself, I noticed that there were some geese wandering around. And right next to this little industrial park, there is a large pla a large piece of land. I think the sign on it said like 15 acres that's actually up for sale. Um, so I don't think it's being used at the moment. There must be some type of pond in there or something because a whole bunch of geese came wandering out from a hole in the fence. And uh, I could see nothing but like weeds and stuff over there. So I'm guessing there was some type of water source that they were all hanging out near there. But I saw a couple of them wandering around when I went out to go relieve myself. And then a few minutes later, I wanted to let Murder Dog out. And I knew she was going to see the geese, and I knew she would get a little excited. And, of course, me being me, I tried to reason with my dog. And, you know, when she stepped out of the car and took one look at those geese, my first words to her were, do not mess with them because they will fuck you up. Because I've watched what geese can go I've watched what one goose can do to a dog um, when it's scared and pissed off. Um, and I, I can only imagine what a whole gaggle of them would do. So Murder Dog, of course, was interested, but luckily enough, she listens to me well enough. I don't think my reasoning got to her, but she seemed to understand that I wanted her to leave the birds alone. So she just went about to go do her business. As she was peeing, an another gaggle of geese came wandering out from under that fence. So now there was about 15 of them uh, a little ways up the road from us. We were a good 50 feet away from them or so, but apparently that was close enough to spook them because... One little noise from us, all the geese at once took off and tried to fly away. Unfortunately, there was a large fence right in front of them. And one of those geese flew full speed, face first, right into this fence. 
and collapsed on the ground. And I immediately felt horrible because I'm like, great, now we just killed a goose without even trying. This poor thing was flopping around on the ground for a while. I was sure it had broken its neck or something. Uh, and, you know, once I got Murder Dog back in the car and uh, got her settled down and went to go back and check, I couldn't find him anywhere. So I'm they all the geese seemed to take off. So I'm guessing he righted himself after a while, but it was... It was quite a scary and, well, slightly entertaining thing to watch. This goose just, you know, take off and fly right into a fence. I mean, I've seen this happen tons of times before with other birds flying into windows and stuff that they don't know is there. But so, like, you know, like I said, I, I felt bad, but it was kind of comical. And, and it was became even more comical once I realized that the bird was okay. But, yeah, that's how we started our day. And then, uh, you know, we drove ourselves – after that, we drove ourselves down back down to Planet Fitness. I got my shower. And uh, it ended up being a, uh, a beautiful day again, and uh, I don't even think it broke 80. It was probably somewhere in like 75 range today at the highest. Uh, just beautiful all day, which meant uh, I got to hang out with the kids outside, which was great. Because uh, after Murder Dog and I, uh, after I got my shower, we ended up heading down to the dog park and uh, just hanging out there for a while until the kids were finally ready. They ended up coming down and meet us and meeting us at the park with uh, with some picnic lunches for us again, which was great. And our friend Lori joined us today. We haven't seen her in a while, but apparently she had been in contact with Jen and they decided she was going to come down and join us. So we all hung out at the park for, uh, oh, geez, I don't know, five or six hours. Um, had a great time, you know, had a little lunch and then played for, for hours and hours. And then uh, we all went out to dinner together, and uh, I'm actually still just outside the place where we had dinner. I was in the parking lot, but it was way too noisy in there because it's right next to a busy road. So I pulled out behind the place, and I'm now sitting <laughs> behind the building. Um, but we had a great dinner together. Uh, that you know, it was, it was great getting to finally spend that much time with them. And, uh, you know, even the problems that Jen and I have had, we had a pleasant day together. That was nice. Um, you know, we didn't want to kill each other. So that was good. Um, and then after they left, after the girls and Jen left, uh, Lori and I ended up standing in the parking lot and talking for like, I don't know, three or, I don't know, geez, yeah, over three hours because she just left a little while ago. And I realized what time it was and said, crap, I need to get a vlog in for today. So that's what I'm doing right now. So, yeah, overall, it was a really great day. Um, you know, talking with Lori was good. It's always fun to talk to her, telling stories back and forth. And she also manages to give me lots of great ideas for uh, places to go and things to do. Uh, she tipped me off about a camping store I wasn't aware of a little further north from me where I might be able to pick up some of the supplies that I've been looking for and possibly pick up some other things. Uh, she also actually was able to locate a couple of, uh, allegedly dog-friendly places that I might be able to take Murder Dog to, one that I might actually be able to take her somewhat close by to camp at, which for some reason never showed up in any of my searches, but she knew about this place, so I'm going to check that one out this week too, uh, this coming week, and see if that's a possibility for a Murder Dog and I to possibly camp out there uh, for a few days or something. But uh, yeah, so like I said, overall... Really great day. It was definitely good to uh, to hang out with the kids for that long and uh, enjoy the uh, the beautiful weather because, as I've been talking about, it's been so brutally hot. So with this break in the temperature, you know, and the weather, it's been it's been really nice. And now it's uh, it's cool enough right now that I actually probably could have thrown on a sweatshirt while we were standing out there talking, Lori and I. Um, I didn't yet, but uh, it'll definitely it'll definitely be cool enough again for us uh, for Murder Dog and I to sleep tonight. Hopefully, I can get a little more sleep. And, uh, yeah, and then tomorrow's another day. And, uh, you know, as I've mentioned, probably going to take uh, Murder Dog and go camping next weekend, go scout out a location and uh, see if it's safe, you know, in one of the state parks in Pennsylvania, see if it's safe for me to bring the kids because I do want to go camping with them as soon as possible since uh, they weren't able to come to Michigan. And I know how much the fun they had there and how they were kind of bummed that they couldn't go. And also the uh, the fun they seem to have had whenever we've camped, whether it was in Michigan or even just in the backyard of the old, old house. So definitely going to do that. And uh, also, I, I had talked about uh, with Lori at one point uh, a couple of weeks back about her and I doing some camping together. And, of course, my kids love her. You know, when she showed up at the park today, they could care less about Jen or I. All they wanted to do was play with Lori. So I told her, you know, if we go, we may have to bring the kids. She's cool with that. And I'm sure they'll have a blast if she's there, too. So hopefully uh, we'll figure something like that out in the next couple of weeks. And, like I said, I'm going to I'm gonna try this trip this coming weekend, most likely. Just Cameron and I. 
just because some of the one review I read of this place was that there are a lot of animals, you know, bears and snakes and bobcats, mountain lions, whatever. So I'm going to go test it out with just the two of us, make sure it's safe first, and then uh, hopefully bring the girls back down there sometime soon. So, yeah, that's a, uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this one pretty short. It looks like it's already gone even longer than yesterday's one. I was intending this one to be even shorter, but hey, whatever. Uh, like I said, I was just trying to cram this in before the uh, end of the night because uh, I had said I was going to get back to doing these daily vlogs. And, well, I just got busy, but things are good right now. So that's about all I have for today. So thank you, as always, for everybody for watching. Uh, thank you for your continued support, your comments, questions, uh, suggestions. They are mo they are very helpful and uh, make me feel like I'm actually accomplishing out something out here. So, yeah, like I said, that'll be it. I will uh, check back with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll actually get it record the vlog recorded a little earlier so I'm not racing to get it done before the end of the night. But, you know, I will take that trade off for being able to see my kids for as long as I did today and having such a great day with them. So, yeah, there you go. All right. Well, with that, I will sign off. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. This has been Abolitionist Jay, and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace, y'all.